MTA needs to act now, immediately, before someone is hurt. Council members led by Speaker Corey Johnson are fired up after a piece of rusted metal came crashing down onto a car yesterday off the 7 train. It's the second serious case of falling debris to hit a car in the last few weeks and the third so far this year. The only reason people haven't died yet is luck. Luck is what has kept people from dying, but we're not going to keep getting lucky. But city leaders say this problem extends far beyond falling objects to a widespread pattern of disrepair that threatens the entirety of Queens with old peeling lead paint. They're saying it's yet another example of why subways and buses should be run by city leaders, not the state MTA. Johnson proposed a city controlled transit plan called Big Apple Transit earlier this week. We need to gain back authority uh, to how our system of transit is run here in the city of New York. The MTA says roughly 170 miles of elevated track was inspected after that beam impaled a passenger seat two weeks ago, and we saw more maintenance continuing today. The MTA also says the metal that fell yesterday might have had something to do with a truck that hit a nearby beam. Council members are highly skeptical. I wish we had enough time to talk about the number of times the MTA generally has said things that have proven not to be true. In a detailed statement the MTA just sent me, they insisted the inspections were done and the piece of metal that fell yesterday was related to a specific type of metal brace and they're now reinspecting all those braces along all the elevated tracks here in Queens. The city, by the way, might have some authority and they're looking into this to use the fire department and department of buildings to force scaffolding and mesh until the MTA finally, in their opinion, does more.